Hey guys, sorry about the uh, little ensemble I'm wearing right now. I just got back from the gym not too long ago and washed my hair and everything and I was just really excited to start filming. So here we are. Of course, I will dry my hair at the end and show you guys how it looks with the hair. <laughs> So today I'm going to do another zodiac sign. Last time we did Gemini, which was by far my favorite so far. I thought Taurus was my favorite and then I did Gemini and I was just like, ugh. It was so colorful and just, I uh, just love it. And I'm just loving seeing all of your recreations. I'm getting tagged in so many on Instagram and Twitter and stuff like that. Like it's just amazing. So I hope I can do something just as good today for my cancer babies. I have done a little bit of research and I've got kind of a little idea in mind, but we'll see how it goes as always. So what is a cancer? The cancer strengths are tenacious, imaginative, loyal, emotional, sympathetic, and persuasive. The weaknesses are they can be moody, suspicious, manipulative, and insecure. Can't we all? <laughs> the element is water. They're ruled by the moon. So a lot of like blues and whites are coming through. The color is white. So basically people are saying cancers are pretty much moody, um, very emotional, sensitive. They care a lot about people. But I read further and I feel like cancers are also quite strong. Like they've got a lot of patience. They avoid conflict when they can. I feel like they are just, yeah, really strong minded, strong willed. And their little like symbol is the brave crest. So brave comes in there. So I feel like I want to do something soft, but also not just soft. I don't want to just do like white eyeshadow and be done with it. Like I want to do something that's soft to look at, but also strong and brave at the same time. So I have no idea where we're going to go with this. I'm thinking maybe like a bolder lip because I haven't really done that that much in this series. Let's just see what happens as always. I'm going to start with my base and since this sign is water, I don't necessarily want to do like blue. I don't know. I did like bright colors last time and I feel like doing something soft yet strong like I said. So I think I might incorporate a bit of white but maybe not blue. Instead of doing blue for water, I'm thinking about just doing like the glowy finish like very dewy, you know, instead to like reflect that kind of hydration. <laughs> so I'm first just going to start with a brightening primer. I'm going to use one of my current favorites, which is the CoverGirl True Blend Pore Minimizing one. It's lilac, so it really helps to brighten up your face. It feels so hydrating. I love this so much. It like fills in your pores subtly and just like smooths everything out. And then since I want to go quite like not natural, but like a little bit lighter, very dewy and everything. I'm going to go with Estee Lauder Double Wear Light. And I'm going to use the shade Intensity 1.0. I love this foundation so freaking much. It's so nice. So we're just going to blend that all over. So obviously I'm going to need to use a slightly darker powder or bronzer or something. Because my chest is a little bit darker than my skin on top. But just see how like beautiful and glowing that finishes and it's quite a like light to medium buildable coverage and I just love how you can see my freckles and stuff through I just feel like it's perfect for this look or for the idea of this look I don't even know what I'm doing yet and I feel like I kind of like this now I keep giving it more and more chances and like I just feel like less is more with this this is the almond shade of the born this way multi-use sculpting concealer so I'm just gonna do a little bit around my eyes I'm also going to add a little just where I need it on the redness. I feel like it looks really pretty on the actual face and under the eyes. Like some days I like it, some days I don't. I feel like it really depends on what um, other foundation I'm pairing up with it. But I think now I like it more than I dislike it. I definitely don't like it for the whole contouring and brightening and everything though. I just like it for concealer. <laughs> At least it's definitely more. I used way too much the other day. Yeah, see it looks really nice on top of this base, which is more like hydrating. I feel like when I put it on top of a matte foundation, it's like so crusty. And then I'm just using a little bit of the Brighten Powder by KKW Beauty. This is shade two, just to sit under my eyes. Okay, I want to do some like stuff on my face, but I feel like we should do something on the eyes first because I don't really know like how to match it all. So I really want to start with a little bit of a paint pot on my eyes, just like a really creamy finish. This one right here is one of my favorites. It's so soft and beautiful and that's kind of the look I'm going for. I feel like going for something 
very soft, romantic, like sensitive, kind of angelic almost. And then I think I'll amp it up with like winged eyeliner and a really bold lip just to like show the strength in a cancer as well. Cause cancer isn't just like weak and a pushover or anything, you know, like I've got to show a little bit of strength as well and structure. So I'm going to start with groundwork. And for these, my favorite way to apply it is with a round eye brush. This is an XO Beauty one. I'm just going to take a little and just pop that straight onto the eyelid and crease and this color is just like the softest brown and so natural and beautiful. I just want to go real simple on the eyes but effective hopefully. So I'm just running that underneath and kind of like flicking it up in a wing shape and we can tidy up this color soon as well because we haven't set our foundation so I'm not too worried. Going straight underneath. See, honestly, this color, like, even just by itself is so pretty. I love it. I don't talk about it enough. Every time I use it, I'm like, yes, it's so nice. And it gives you, like, that grungy natural look of, like, a natural dark eye area, which I think is so beautiful. And then I'm going to set that with a similar color on the same brush. So I'm going to take a kind of cooler tone brown. This one here is called Fawn by Anastasia Billy Hills. You don't have to use the same one, to be honest. Just whatever you have that's similar. And I'm using a tiny amount. It's just to set it so it doesn't, like, move. Oh, I love how grungy this looks. Um, but we're going to pretty it up a little bit. I've got my, like, giant cup of tea right now. I can't put it down. I love it so much. Comment below and let me know what your favorite hot drink is. At the moment, I'm just loving, like, English breakfast tea. It's so good and so satisfying. With a little bit of soy milk, which makes it nice and creamy and kind of sweet without adding, like, you know, sugar. Okay, so the next step, I found this in my drawer. And I know before I said I wasn't going to do blue. But can we appreciate how beautiful this looks? This is one of the top coats by Natasha Denona. And I'm going to swatch it and just see what it looks like. I don't know if I'm going to use it yet. Oh my god, I feel like that's so beautiful and ethereal looking. I'm going to apply a little bit. I'm just going to pop a little bit straight on top of that eyelid. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. It's kind of like got a gold reflex, so it doesn't even look very blue. Just makes it look very sparkly and dewy, which is kind of perfect for the watery look. I'm just using my finger to really press it in and blend it out so it's nice and blurred. I don't want it too, like, opaque. And then... I don't want to go pure white on the inner corner, but I think I'm going to use some of those. This is the Interstellar Moonshine by Mecca. I'm going to use it on a little pencil brush. I have no idea how this is going to work. And I'm just going to apply some to the inner corner. Okay, that was way too much. I'm just like enjoying trying these random creamy products right now. It's kind of pinky, but I think it'll tie in nicely once we add blush and everything. I'm going to add just a tiny, tiny amount. We'll try to. Just like on that center too. Just spring it together. Just on both eyes. Oh, that kind of made it a little bit more white, which is perfect for the white color. But now I want to make it more structured and strong. I think first, before I go through with that, we'll work on the face. Because I basically just want to do black eyeliner and flirty lashes and then do something bold on my lips now. So we can finish off the rest of the face. I'm going to pop on my eyebrows using the Build a Brow Universal Taupe by It Cosmetics. And I'll be right back. So I don't want to get rid of the glow by using a real heavy powder. So I'm going to use my Lucent Highlighting Powder by XO Beauty just all over my face really lightly. And this will just like set everything and leave a beautiful glow. It's not going to be too shimmery or anything. It's just going to look really dewy and like blurred like photoshop <laughs> and then after this we're going to use a little bit of a bronzer just to bronze up my face a little bit so it kind of matches my chest oh this looks so nice all over i'm gonna use one of my favorite bronzers this is radiant bronze light by hourglass i love this for a beautiful like glowy bronzer so i'm gonna put that on with this jumbo face brush just on my cheeks Temples, chin, just everywhere the sun would naturally hit, you know, the drill. So once I put it on the main areas, I'm just using my brush to go all over and just blend it. Just so there's no harsh lines. And that blends in a lot better with my chest. It's still a little bit paler, but it'll do. Now, of course, you want to contour. I'm using my Makeup Revolution palette. Just straight under those cheekbones. And also just up on my temples just to bring it all together. And I'm not going to bother with any blush. I don't want it to be too soft. I feel like it's very soft already. So now it's time to make it a little bit more strong and badass. First off, let's do some highlight. I'm gonna use this one right here by Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is out of the Gleam Glow Kit. And I don't need much because I've already got my um, XO Beauty one all over, but I just wanna concentrate obviously a little bit of highlighter on the actual cheekbone. And we're going quite cool tone. 
just to keep them with that watery theme. And then I'm also going to take a little bit of that same color just on my pencil brush onto the brow bone, which are so hairy right now. I really need to like pluck my eyebrows like desperately. Now for eyeliner, I want to do like dramatic eyeliner just to really break it up a little bit. I don't want it to be too pale, um, like the eye look I mean. I want to darken it up with lashes and liner. But I want to do like a flatter wing just to make it different. So I'm going to attempt it. <laughs> Scary. Like straight out. See how I'm not going up towards my brow bone like I normally go like on a higher angle. By the way, I'm using the Tartist um, Double Take Eyeliner. I'm going for this like flat shape. Straight out. Okay, so it's not perfectly even on both sides, but it's good enough. See how it's kind of like down? It's like giving me that kind of doe-eyed effect rather than being like up and like fierce. It's like soft and romantic and like cute and just pretty. I like it a lot. So now I'm going to take the Clinique Fit Eyeliner uh, 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 Mascara just because I want to see what it's like. Applied more heavily. I tried it out in my gym makeup video. I'll link it down below where I tried out heaps of like gym makeup <laughs> and did like my gym makeup routine and put it through the sweat test. So yeah, I didn't use much in that video because I wanted a natural look. I want to see if I can build it up this time without a primer underneath. Ooh, I'm liking these results. Can you see? It's hard to see with the thick eyeliner. I feel like this would look so good without any eyeliner because it like lengthens and separates. It doesn't make your lashes like super thick, but they're very like long and just like naturally beautiful. So I'm gonna keep applying this all over, apply some lashes and I will be right back. Okay, so my lashes are on. They are called Cupid. I just feel like they're really pretty with this look. They're nice and soft, but still dramatic. And then for the lips, I've decided to go brown. I don't know, I was just looking at crabs to be honest. Like, <laughs> I don't know, um, yeah. Like I said, I still want it to look kind of strong. I don't want it just to be super soft. Like if I do nude or pink, like it's just so soft and it just looks like anything else. I still want it to be a little bit special. Cancers are very sensitive and, you know, soft people, but I just feel like there's still strength there. They're like very persuasive and loyal, tenacious. Um, they stick at things. So I still want there to be some strength in here, you know? So... <laughs> I'm gonna use Dominatrix by Jeffree Star. This is old AF, so hopefully it's not all dried out. Okay, it kind of is, but we're gonna make it work. Okay, so the makeup is pretty much done. I'm gonna go blow dry my hair, BRB. Okay, so I've done my hair and the look's coming together a lot better now. I just wanna add a little bit more blue. I just feel like there needs to be a touch more color. So I'm going to use this product here by Etude House. It's the Wonder Fun Part Glitter Pigment. It's the blue one. I don't think I've used this before, so cross your fingers for me. I'm just gonna put some of that just on it, that inner half of my eyelid. And then I'm going to use that same brush that I used earlier just to sweep it on. And then she's using a touch of it, this reflective blue glitter. It's called Distortion by Urban Decay. Just on that inner corner. So here is the finished look with super, super glowing skin. And then the dramatic lips and liner just to show the stronger side of a cancer. Because, you know, they're not just pushovers. A little bit of blue shimmery shimmer to reflect that water look. And just a little bit pretty and soft and romantic as well. I don't really know how else to portray like the emotional personality trait than doing something quite soft. I feel like this was quite a hard one without just going for like the really blatant obvious like blue eye or white eye, like white eyeshadow, which I really didn't want to do. I wanted to do something a little bit deeper. So um, hopefully some of you guys like this one. Let me know if you do like it. I'd love to hear from you. And don't forget to thumbs up subscribe and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye! Oops, I'm back. I just put this on with my Posy Balm by Benefit and I actually love how it looks and I feel like I should have done a soft lip after all. What do you guys think? What looks better? At least we can do like the two sides, like a strong uh, cancer and then super soft sensitive cancer. <laughs> oh, I love this lip balm. That looks really pretty as well and I don't know, it's th this is probably more like the textbook definition of a cancer. What do you guys think? Let me know which lip you prefer. Do you prefer something super strong, dramatic, or do you like the soft look? Comment below. And now I'm going for real. Bye. <laughs>